Hi guys. Today I want to talk about the tool marks on the world's largest monolith, Yangshan Monument. In my previous video, I provided evidence why I disagree with Chinese historians who stated this monolith was created in the early 15th century. In this follow-up video, I'm going to compare the ancient tool marks at Yangshan, Baalbek, Patra, India, Greece, and Italy with modern-day machine marks. Which raises the provocative question, could an industrial prehistory civilization have existed on our planet and created a Yangshan monument? What's considered prehistory? Prehistory refers to the time from 3 million years ago, starting with the use of the first stone tools, up and until 5,000 years ago with the invention of writing by the Sumerians in Mesopotamia. Let's look at the three giant Yangshan blocks again, all located on a mountain near Nanjing. One block is adjacent to the old quarry, and the other two are close to each other but outside the quarry. The head block has several openings with interesting knobs, which reminded us of the knobs seen at megalithic sites in Peru and Egypt. The long body if standing up, will be taller than the Statue of Liberty, and the base is the largest of all, bigger than an NBA court. Continuing my research, I discovered there are two different tool marks on Yangshan blocks, which I also found on other megalithic sites around the world. The first ones are these long, slightly angled, sometimes almost straight grooves. Baalbek, home to two of the largest Roman temples, the Temple of Bacchus and the Temple of Jupiter, have foundation stones weighing 300 and 800 tons each, and several unfinished monoliths including the stone of the pregnant woman which weighs over a thousand tons. Work probably began around 16 BC. The original method of construction remains an archaeological mystery. Here are side-by-side -side comparisons and photos between Yangshan blocks and Baalbek foundation stone. We see long, slightly angled grooves on both. The striations are quite uniform and parallel to each other, and the scale of these grooves is beyond human ability for that time. It looks manufactured. We clearly see the resemblance. Petra, a great ancient city that lays half-hidden in the wind-blown landscape of Jordan, is another treasured UNESCO heritage site. The area around Petra had been inhabited as early as 7000 BC. Petra is a very intriguing site, where I discovered several different tool marks. Here I'm comparing the ones I believe to be similar to the ones we saw on the Yangshan blocks. The striations are almost identical. Yangshan is limestone and Patra is sandstone. Both are sedimentary and considered soft rocks, with a hardness at 4 to 5 on most scale, with granite being 6 to 7 and diamond being 10. Comparing Yangshan and Patra, the curved tool marks are also identical. Here is Yangshan block next to an old castle in Greece built at least 2,000 years ago. Notice the same straight grooves and ridges. There are numerous other examples and these are just a sampling. If you're interested in seeing other examples, please leave me a message. Besides the long, straight, or slightly curved striations, there is another kind of tool marks at Yangshan which are shorter, curved, look organic, almost like scratches. We see them mainly on the ceilings of the opening at the long block and the base. In my research, I found a cave in India with an unfinished ceiling, which shows very similar tool marks. The caves at this site are otherwise highly polished. It's fortunate we found one with an unfinished ceiling so we can better understand the tool marks. 
This one compares Yangshan with a cave in northern Italy, which hasn't been dated. The shorter, curved, almost scratch-like marks are eerily identical. It's interesting to see the striations are mostly used on the ceiling instead of the exterior. It looks like different tools or different coring method have been used on the ceilings. Now. Let's look at Yangshan tool marks next to modern-day machine marks. The machines I'm showing here are fairly recent. We didn't have them 50 years ago, which means the machine striations are relatively new. Upon close inspection, the similarities are outstanding. Notice the same striations. Today's advanced mining machines create marks very much like the ones we saw at Yangshan, Baalbek, Petra, and Greece. It's uncanny how similar they are. Were Yangshan blocks created by prehistory machines? Ancient Chinese didn't have this type of machinery, and for that matter, no known civilization at the time did either. This means other sites like Baalbek and Petra may have a completely different, undiscovered history as well. As I explained in my last video, these megalithic sites might be the most obvious proof that our planet once had technology tens of thousands of years ago that in many ways rivals, if not surpasses, modern day engineering. Some might think these tool marks could come from hand tools, such as chisels or pickaxes. Let's examine them. With chisels, precision cut can be made. We can see the masons position themselves pretty close to the stone, and they can place the chisels precisely. This explains why with chisels it's not easy to do a really long, continuous line, because to be precise, you're using your elbow as an anchor. And don't have the full range movement with the arms. That's why chisels are best used for smaller scale detailed stonework. However, I still don't believe that one can achieve evenly spaced striations using chisels on stone. Since the striations are much longer than what chisels can achieve, these two marks are not from chisels. How about pickaxes? With a pickaxe, a person can do a full swing using their core as the anchor. Some may think pickaxes created these curved striations, but again, this is wrong. I'm unfamiliar with mining or quarrying with pickaxes, but I can imagine it will be very difficult to place each strike so evenly and so precisely, like it is shown here on Yangshan blocks and other sites. Have you ever tried to draw a long straight line freehand, not with a ruler, then draw ten more lines that are parallel to each other with close proximity? It's not easy. Now imagine you're using a pickaxe instead of a pencil. With a pickaxe, you need strength to swing it to make an indentation on rock. Can all the strikes be parallel to each other and evenly spaced? Think of a professional golfer swings thousands of times with the same exact precision, and the level of difficulty that involves. With pickaxes, you need to really swing hard to achieve the speed and the power to make an impact on stone. One may be able to create a smooth, curved line on softer material such as clay, but not on limestone or sandstone. We can see from this video. A pickaxe makes an indentation on rock, but not a continuous line. With that being said, I believe to create such precisely spaced patterns on stone on the scale with chisels or pickaxes is humanly impossible, and could only have been accomplished advanced machinery. I propose that the Yangshan blocks, Baalbek foundation stone, and the Patra will receive machine marks. Were created with lost ancient machinery. These ancient sites are credited to be over 600 to 2,000 years old. We know for a fact there were no machines back then. Here, I want to quote Sherlock Holmes: "When you have eliminated impossible, 
whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. So when was the last time there was technology on par with current day? What was the advanced civilization before ours? Was it Atlantis, or the legendary lost world of Mu, or perhaps a different lost civilization exists in Asia yet to be named? The sites that share similar tool marks with Yongshan are located in different regions in Asia, Middle East, and Europe. Were they all built by a prehistoric global civilization? During my research, I found many so-called ancient quarries all around the world, and a lot of them share extraordinary similarities. In my next video, I'll discuss Longyu Cave, which is categorized as an ancient quarry from 2,000 years ago, with different but equally intriguing tool marks, which I believe are from advanced ancient machinery as well. And the same tool marks show up on other sites that you probably have never heard of. If you have any insights, please leave a comment. I would love to hear from you. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell button so you'll be notified when I upload my next one. This is Curious Being. I'm Tina. Thanks for watching.